Okay. Really quick, if that's all right. Uh, no, no. Uh, Deanna has to be. Deanna. Yeah, Deanna has to be somewhere. Sorry, Bella. Hello. I'm trying to do a smooth opening. Hello, and welcome to another episode of D and D. Uh, I am here with Deanna and Destiny, and hey, look at this! You guys have your first. Fan question. <gasps> Do we really know? Fucking Absolutely, way. I have it written right here on my piece of paper. This question comes to us from Mark in Detroit, and he says, "How difficult is it to do a podcast around a man so handsome and talented and funny as Reverend Steve?" Uh, You're so, so ow, ow, ow! You hit me, and that really hurt. And I'm sensitive. Here, 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 here. And now I have proof. Oh, that feels nice. First Thank off, you. uh. Thank you. Okay, you here. Are, let me let me move out of the way. Have now I need to sir. address this question. He was, he's he's my uncle. Um, so first that's off, fucking weird. Mark, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Listen here, Mark from Detroit. <laughs> Is that even your real name? <laughs> Middle name from last name Detroit. <laughs> First name, Mark, last name, Detroit. No, go away. This is not fun. Okay. Um, so, what is up? This is uh, D&D. Um, I'm Destiny. I'm Deanna. And uh, on this podcast, well, this segment of a bigger podcast, we talk about shit that doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, and today, uh, Destiny decided that we're going to talk about some crazy shit. What is said crazy shit, Destiny? We're going to talk about Shel Silverstein. Shel Silverstein? Isn't that the guy that wrote the the, the giving tree? I almost said hanging tree. Uh, <laughs> a little bit uh, the lynching tree there. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Natasha, question for you. Oh. Um, what, what era do you think Shel Silverstein was alive in? Well, uh, considering that he died, what, when? Less 10 years or something like that? Right. Um, 20 years? Oh my um, god, how old am I? Um, oh my god, Beth, like, is Jerry 50? Just give, just give me a guess. Like, I, I need... Recently enough that I shouldn't have to answer this question. What era do you think he was alive in? Do you think he was, a, a, like, an adult when you were a teenager? Yes. No, like a young adult. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> do you... Do, you're not helping me um, I'm not. He's an old dude who was bald and he had this really long white beard. And I hated looking at his picture. Wasn't even fucking white. Yeah, and wasn't even long. Get out of here. Why am I thinking of? The point you stand about like, <laughs> you're thinking about. They're like God. No. Okay. Like Jesus Christ. Um, Where's my shell silver? She she mostly says this because I had the idea that he uh, lived kind of very recently within my lifetime. And this motherfucker did not. You know, <laughs> Shel Silverstein died in 1999. Oh my god, I am old. March 10th. Can I feel March 10th, 1999. I feel like that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it wasn't. That was a year after I was born. I was one. I, was I wasn't still even still alive in your lifetime. I wasn't even one. Yes. I was two. I I was taking care of Deanna. Mm-hmm. That's that's. Rock on, I bro. feel like that was not that long ago. No, he died of a heart attack. Why? Which is weird. He was, he was a, a healthy guy. You know. Yeah, I was four months old in nine days when he died. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. When does on your mom's birthday? Oh my god, he died on my mom's birthday. Well, I mean. All good things have to come to an end, I guess. <laughs> but we have a few facts. Uh, I did have them written down on a uh, note, uh, no, a notebook, and I was going to add in some fake facts, and Deanna would have to differentiate between the two. So now I'm just going to uh, bullshit off the top of my head, <laughs> and we're going to learn a little bit about Shel Silverstein. And we picked this guy because he's so goddamn weird looking. So fucking. And you think, I don't... you think when I started to search for facts, mm-hmm. I really thought that I would find something a little stranger. <laughs> but he was just some normal guy. Except that he used a really strange and uncomfortable photo to put on the back of his fucking book. Yeah, all of them. Specifically, The Giving Tree. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's grainy as hell and he looks like a serial killer. It's great. It's like, if you haven't seen it, you should look it up. So, he, some of the some of the works um, that Shel Silverstein has put out, you have uh, The Giving Tree, you have A Light on in the Attic, where the sidewalk ends, um, you have Fuck'em, Fuck'em, which is a song. <laughs> what? 
What, you've never heard of fuck'em, fuck'em? Fuck'em, fuck'em? Yeah, it was a child classic. <laughs> and this was a book? Mm. It was a song. A song. Shel Silverstein sang. Shel- Sheldon. The <laughs> Sheldon <laughs> Allen Silverstein. Yeah. He, fuck him, fuck him. Oh my god. I didn't listen to the song because I'm afraid, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's cursed. Let me see, I'm gonna look it up right now. But, fuck um, him. the reason why I became fuck so him. interested in this man is, one, because I used to read his books all the time as a child, and two, because I saw the album of, the album art, the cover of his album, Crouching on the Inside. That's the title of the album. And on this album cover, you see is Shel Silverstein in what I think is sandals and jeans <laughs> and a t-shirt. His jaw is jutted out like he has a really horrible underbite. And he's just crouched and his arms are out and l- like he's slinking. And by the way, he's also in the bank of a river. Ex- like, I don't... I'll, I have the picture on my phone. Oh my god. I'll send it to Steve who will send it to Bunny, it'll somehow get there. circulated so you can look at. But if uh it'll probably be on the YouTube as the cover. But it has if, to be. if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, shut the fuck up. If you're listening to this on Sound <laughs> If you're listening to this on SoundCloud, uh then just look up just look up Shell Silverstein crouching on the outside. Crouching on the inside. Inside, crouching on the inside. And you'll see the cover art of what looks to be a goblin. <laughs> it's a cursed image. Oh, God. I think there's a ghost on the other end of this one. I hear it. Shell Silverstein fuck em lyrics. Fuck em, fuck em. Well, I need to... I'm to read these lyrics. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this is uh, just the first... The first um, verse and chorus... Of uh, Shel Silverstein's classic, Fuck 'em, Fuck 'em. I'm all strung out and my money's spent. I can't really tell you where the last years went. But I've given up paying my bills for lint. Now the landlord, he says he wants his rent. Fuck 'em. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> the women they come, the women they go. The hens start to cackle and the cocks start to crow. Oh. Hell, I take 'em. And when the warm wind blow, but boot them in the ass once it starts to snow. Cause fuck them. Yeah, that is, oh my god. That is just, oh Matt, your food is in, uh. He's gotta go back for the blanket. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, I had to turn around. And... Okay, um, there's, uh, your food's in the car. Um, next verse. Hey, a woman come around and handed me a line. About a lot of orphan kids suffering and dying. <laughs> Shit, I gave her a quarter, because one of them might be mine. <laughs> yeah, rest of those little Shall bastards. <laughs> yeah, the rest of those little bastards can keep on crying. I mean, fuck kids. Throw up on your shoulder, piss in your lap, never give you nothing, fuck them. Oh my god! This man wrote children's books? I cannot believe that. I just read that. My own eyes. I had a fight last night with a big lumberjack. I spent most of the fight lying flat on my back. <laughs> you know he beat me up fair, and that's a fact, but I busted his head as soon as he turned his back. Because fuck fair fighting. It Fuck and fair are both the drawn out in, oh. in letter. Yeah. You have chicken lo mein oh and a little bit of rice. God. You know, my junkie buddy got the shakes again. He gave me five bucks, sent me out in the rain. I'm supposed to bring back something to kill his pain. Oh, shit. I took the bread and I jumped on a train. Because fuck junkies. Menace to society, break into your house, seal your TV, set, and go pawn it. And stick up gas stations and then want to get rehabilitated right next door to you. (laughs) Fuck them. What the fuck is this song? Jesus Christ. Hey, I caught a cold, I'm chilled and wet, and I'm coughing blood, and I'm short of breath. And at the front of my bed sits old man Death. He says, hey, Shell, he says, ain't you ready to go yet? I says, and I says, coughing. He says, you're the devil's favorite pet. And I says, coughing. (laughs) I guess he's supposed to be coughing, because it has an asterisk. And I says, (laughs) oh, hi, baby. He says he's waiting for you, <coughs> and you're late. And I says, fuck him. 
let the mother wait. I've got things I ain't done yet, and bills I haven't got paid. I haven't not paid. I got people I ain't bad talked, and I got chicks that I haven't knocked up and left yet. I've got things to do, places to go, people to do. How's that? Actual song by Shel Silverstein. Oh my he got, god. He got his start in Playboy magazine. I know, yeah, that was another fact. He yeah. started he was writing cartoons. Yeah. He also wrote A Boy Named Sue for Johnny Cash. That just gives you an idea of how long this man has been alive. Well, how long he was alive because he's dead now. Yeah. Diana's not okay right now. Jesus Christ. I will never read another Shel Silverstein book. <laughs> ever! I don't care how good the giving tree is. Oh, the places you'll go. <laughs> oh, the- Oh, uh, the people you'll shit talk. That's Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's close enough. Dr. Seuss, Shell Silver Seuss. <laughs> Shit, they're the same person, secretly. <laughs> Shell Silverstein's middle name is Adam, or Alan, fuck. Sheldon Allen Silverstein. God. Steve, I'm sending you a picture for the podcast. Also, he had uh, three okay. wives. Two of them died. One of them divorced him. He had two kids, and the only girl died. His son lived. So what I take out of that is if you're a female, stay the fuck away <laughs> from Shel Silverstein. <laughs> oh. Don't mind me. Don't mind you. Go by my podcast. Go by my podcast. Oh. I don't know why I'm repeating everything you say. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> we're, we're secretly brainwashed, you see. <laughs> But yeah, um, Steve is talking through us. I didn't really have much on the show, but it seems like we have a little bit of time left. So I want to talk about this shit that I fucking read the other day. You want to fucking hear what I fucking read? Yes. We're not trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this shit. So I'm, I actually it was today. I'm at, a, I'm at a job interview. I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm applying for a job uh, that will go unnamed because I'm not allowed to talk about it yet. Um... But it is in Oklahoma City, and I see next to me a newspaper called The Gaily, which is like The Daily, except for gay people. And it's great. I uh, almost was hired on to write a uh, a segment, a page, a story, something like that. When I was in college, I almost got hired on to write for The Gaily. And so I'm skimming through this. And um, I see the title of a story that's called It's Okay to Be Gay, Unless you're fat. Okay. <laughs> so I'm reading through this shit, right? And, and, and <laughs> jokes on you, bitch. So a like, single tear running down my face because I'm fat. And, I, you know, I'm looking through this fucking newspaper and I'm like, for a plethora of people. Plethora. <laughs> For a plethora of people. Okay, I don't know how to say some words either. <laughs> however the fuck you want. For a plethora of people that know what it's like to go unaccepted and to go about in a life where you're constantly judged. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck gives these fuckers the right <laughs> yeah. to tell you that you are not allowed to be fat and gay? Because I'm both of those. I'm fat and I'm gay. <laughs> What the fuck is a bear then? <laughs> so I'm Other than a big, muscly, or fat gay man. <laughs> and I've honestly, and, I, and I've this noticed this now shit. after reading this, which I can't believe they allowed that to be published, for one. For two, because I know I know that the editor-in-chief of that fucking newspaper, and I don't understand how it got past her. But, so I'm slowly realizing that that's something that, like, it's it's been an issue for a while because it opened my eye to just one eye. Yeah. It opened my singular eye. The other's lazy. <laughs> to the other's uh, the other one really hurts, so it's always closed. Um, I only opened that one on special occasions, <laughs> friends and family only. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm my third eye. <laughs> yes, don't even get me started. started on the. Don't even get me started on the third eye. It's in my belly button. <laughs> So, and, I, and I'm just thinking back to the stuff I didn't really understand because I'm I'm kind of new to the whole the the gay the gay the gay scene. This is yeah, bullshit. I'm, You've been gay all your life. <laughs> oh, telling people that I'm gay. I'm slowly <laughs> shut up. You dated me in high school. I'm sorry, I'm talking about that. I, I think we might have another bit to send <laughs> Kevin Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> But so yeah, he's gonna he's gonna love this, you know. And I'm and I'm thinking because people used to people would say no fat, no femme, and I didn't know what that meant. 
until I saw it in this fucking newspaper, and I'm like, holy shit. What kind of discrimination is this? That is just unfair. I'm, I think that's so unfair for a group, since I'm, don't say plethora right, uh, for a group. <laughs> God damn it! You can say it whatever you want. I just, I don't understand how a group of people that know what it's like to be discriminated against, why would they, why would they do that to other people? Yeah. That just is something that blows me away. I, I agree. I find it highly unusual and downright wrong. Yeah. Because I, 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 I'm so, fat I'm, too. I, I'm not gay, <laughs> but, you know, if there was a paycheck involved, Bunnies. you know, what? <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> you're trying to t- are you trying to tell me that you're not gay? Uh, no. I have a soul. No. I'm just kidding. Every, everyone's a little gay. I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm not doing the, well, that is that, no, that, that, that is true. There, there's a spectrum going on there, you know, but uh, not a huge fan of the bratwurst. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know I was gay, but that's because I went through some really bad things as a child, and I tried to um, not try to not be that way because I was around a lot of really bad people who were that way and I told myself for the longest time that there's no way I like girls. I can't. I, I The reason why I like girls is because of this horrible thing that happened to me. There's no way. And then I finally came to, you know, terms with that, that yeah, I'm fucking gay. <laughs> He's still married a man. <laughs> I am married to a man. He's my beard. He's my bush. <laughs> You're also spiritually married to me, so I guess I'm yeah, I have two. Her. I'm actually married to three people. I'm married to my husband, my best friend, and my best friend's fiance because they fucking fight over me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to just hang out with one person. I gotta <laughs> evenly distribute my fucking. <laughs> you know, it's great. I love it. Oh, I've never man. been loved by so many people before. <laughs> but I mean, that's well, not well, all we we love you too. Aw, thank you, buddy. Oh, By the way, um, there's a video that comes across on Eleanor's playlist where you're wearing lipstick and you're like, don't judge me. You don't have the right to judge me. Bob's dirty short. Yeah. And I just like to tell you that that is my favorite fucking video <laughs> ever. And I quote it all day and nobody knows what I'm talking about. It is just so, it's so good. Dude, I, I, got, like, I, 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 got, I got like 200 of those. Oh, I need all of them. On YouTube. It's my life with that. Yeah, there was one coming out a day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For like a, a, an amazing amount of time. Oh, I love it. Before we wrap this up, I just want to say that uh, me and Destiny and our boys are going to the medieval fair tomorrow, and I'm going to be dressing up as a mermaid cool. on land, of course. Cool. Land a mermaid. Uh, so I'm pro. I might send Steve a couple pictures, and maybe they'll end up somewhere around the blog or podcast or something. I, don't I know. will be going to the medieval oh, fair. See. Who will see? I will be going to the medieval fair dressed as Evander Holyfield. Mm, nice. Who said? He is a boxer from the 90s. Nice. It's not quite medieval enough, I don't think. But you, you um, have to say you have to say everything to Evander twice. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz he's been knocked around a lot. All right, well, that's the end of D&D. We're throwing it back to Steve and Bunny. Have fun, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Have a good Fuck time. Sheldon. Sheldon Allen Silverstein. Fuck him, fuck him. Fuck him, fuck him. <laughs> oh, Hi. 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 Oh, uh, one more thing. My fucking husband bought a corn cob pipe, and it's the ugliest thing I've seen in my life. A corn cob pipe? Like the bendy one? What, what is he, one of the Hatfields? Does he also have a button nose and toys made out of coal? Because if he doesn't, then there's no reason for him to have that shit. Hi. To, just to make it clear. Is is he a feudin and running from revenuers? I, I do not know. I do not know. <laughs> it's a lot of things that are confusing to me. Well, I think Kevin Swanson is going to really enjoy that episode of D&D. Good. Good. Be sure and, and uh, send it to him. I, I, I think I have a new mission in life. 
Yeah. To piss off Kevin Swanson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. Because you're you're in the ballpark there. It's in your wheelhouse. It's around your area. So you're the man. But for it's that. but it's kind of like that saying, you know. Leave those alone. Those are demon testicles. That it's if, kind of like what? It's kind of like that saying that that like if Kevin Swanson past all logic or anything happens to be right I might as well go to hell a hero yeah let me get you a plate so are we ready yes yay okay <clears throat> supernatural time 